Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Sartha Commerce Wala. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about the most important practical topics and in simplified manner, I can say that what are the numerical questions and from which topics the numerical question will be coming within your financial accounting examination and what are the, the most important topics which you have to do and that is compulsory to do for you all by which you cannot miss those topics. Okay. And these all evaluation are on the basis of last five year question papers. And this video is for BCom honors, BCom program and for SOL students as well. Okay. Now in this video, I'm going to discuss three things. First, the marking scheme of the financial accounting paper. Second, the most important numerical topics of financial accounting for BCom program separately and BCom honors separately. And third thing is the strategy for different types of students who are at their different stage of preparation because there are some students who eventually studied something from the initial semester first and there are some students who did not study anything yet. So what they can do? Because simply financial accounting is all over a practical subject. You cannot expect that you can score marks by only studying about theory. Maybe it can be more familiar for the BCom program students because they get a lot more uh, theoretical topics as compared to the BCom honor students. But let's go. Let's first of all, as we will move further within the video, then we are going to discuss that what will be happening with you all and what you have to do for getting passing marks within your financial accounting. Let's get started. So first of all, we are going to start from the marking scheme. Marking scheme of financial accounting is same for the BCom honors and BCom program students. From unit first, you will get questions of 15 marks and this unit first is totally a theoretical unit. So which means that theory almost comes of 15 marks and more than it because some units can also give you one or two small questions of theory. Unit second consists of 20 marks. Unit third consists of 20 marks as well. Unit four, the most largest unit, which is of 25 marks. And this will be coming definitely within your financial accounting examination. It is one of the most important unit among all of them. And unit five is of 20 marks. Now there is a very startling fact, which I will be going to tell you. That is that unit five generally didn't come within your previous year question papers. And this unit five is named as computerized accounting. Yes, this is a very important thing, which means the conclusion I wrote here that unit four came in your last five years question paper for BCom honors and BCom program both of almost 36 marks. Yes, guys, this is actually a true thing. And this is a very startling fact that you cannot only expect that you can get any question from unit five. Of course, there can be one or two small questions of like six marks or max to max 10 marks. But don't expect that what is returned within the marking scheme of Delhi University, it has to be going it has to be going to be true within your financial accounting exam. Absolutely not. So I'm telling you one thing with almost my experience and even my evaluation of last five years question paper of financial accounting that unit four will be coming almost of 36 to 40 marks single handedly. And this is going to be true because unit four is a very big unit. And within unit four, there are two chapters which are the most important one in which first is the department accounting and th second is the branch accounting. And these are very big chapters and these are going to come almost of 36 marks altogether. So don't depend upon unit five and some of the students who were thinking uh, initially that they can do only theory in financial accounting and pass their financial accounting exam. Please don't be within this like rumors that you get any question from unit five. Maybe you can get one question of six marks or let's say max to max of 10 marks, but you don't get 20 marks of unit five within your financial accounting exam. And it is true as per the observation from last five year question papers. Okay, now let's talk about one point as well that specifically in financial accounting, BCom program and BCom honors, both students have different paper pattern and both courses students have their different levels of exam. What I had seen from last five years question paper, BCom program has relatively more easier exam as compared to BCom honors student. So therefore, in the further video, I will choose very selective topics for BCom program students separately and BCom honors students separately as well. Now we are going to discuss about the paper pattern of the BCom program student. Why I am discussing the paper pattern of BCom program students because generally the paper pattern of BCom program students were actually same from last four years. And what I actually observed within the past question papers as well that the paper pattern or the pattern of giving the question is more of a same kind from last four or three years. While when I evaluated the paper pattern of BCom honors, then it generally kept changing and changing year by year. So I can take the surety of the paper pattern of BCom program, but there is an uncertainty in case of the BCom honor student. Okay, so let's talk about the paper pattern of BCom program in question first. 
question first is mainly a theoretical question and even if they get a choice generally they don't get even they get a choice in this question one so they can get one theory question and one small practical question question number two is basically one theory and one practical and if they get a choice they get same kind of pattern maybe they are swapping their places maybe first one is practical and second one is theory in question third both the questions are practical and they are coming from i think so departmental accounting so first question is from departmental accounting and the choice one is also from departmental accounting and that is of 18 marks question four also contains both practical question which means first one is also practical and the choice one is also practical it will be coming most probably from the branch accounting and question fifth contains one theory of six marks and one practical of 12 marks or same and vice versa in terms of the position like it can swap the position first one can be practical and second one can be theory so this is the general paper pattern of the bcom program students it may be similar within the bcom honors as well but i cannot take that much assurity within this particular scenario because bcom honors students paper pattern is very uncertain because what i observed within last four years question papers the paper pattern is not quite a bit similar and therefore i actually don't give you any review about the paper pattern of bcom honors within this video okay now let's talk about the most important practical topics of bcom program and for the bcom program students so these are the important practical topics for bcom program students and further in the video we will be discussing the most important practical topics for the bcom honor students as well the first most important topic is final account you don't have to leave the final account topic and because this you had also studied within your 12th class or 11th class of accounts so therefore it will be very easy for you all so you don't have to leave final account in which you have to make trading account pnl account and the balance sheet second for bcom program students cash book and realization account this is also very simple and this topic generally came within the bcom program students question paper and this topic i don't see within the bcom honors students question paper so therefore this topic is present here but not in the bcom honors important topics okay third topic is third topic is npo and NPO is also a very important topic and all you students are very familiar from the NPO because you also studied it in your class 12th accounts. So in NPO you get question on income and expenditure account and balance sheet. Question fourth or number four topic is branch accounting. Branch accounting is the most important topic but it is a little bit difficult one and fifth most important topic is department accounting. I actually arrange all these topics on the basis of their difficulty as well. So these are very easy topics for the BCom program students. Therefore, I wrote them first or initially. After that, branch accounting and department accounting, no doubt they will be coming and they will be present there within your examination, no doubt. But these topics are like a sort of those kinds of topics. If you even done them, you are not sure that whether you will be able to gain full marks in these types of topics. So therefore, I wrote them in fourth or fifth number. Okay. Sixth important topic is AS9. By this topic, you can get a small numerical question and seventh is depreciation. It is very important for the BCom program students, I'm telling you. Depreciation account and maybe any asset account you can get within your examination of financial accounting as well. Now let's jump on to the most important practical topics of BCom honors. First of all is AS9. See, you can get a question of AS9 whether in theory, but mainly what I observed the trend within the past question papers for BCom honors students that there was a question always there from the accounting standard nine by which you have to calculate the revenue so this is a very important topic and why i actually wrote it at first number because this is a small topic and by which you can gain six marks so these topics i wrote here according to their difficulty level i am speaking it again and again okay so try to remember that that this is also a pattern of how you have to do the topics consecutively okay second is inventory management lifo fifo it is very important for bcom program students as well okay i even forget to write there but all BCom honors and BCom program students can do their each other's topic as well. But these are relatively more important for the BCom honors students. Inventory management. Final account is very important. Departmental accounting, most, most important. But it is a difficult one. Branch accounting, most, most important. These all topics will be going to come. No worry. And you will be telling me thank you after giving the exam. But the work in between them is to study all these topics is in all of you, all of your hands. Okay. So after that, if you are not studying, you cannot blame me on that. Okay. But I am giving you all the things and I am serving you from my side and I am telling you, see, the paper will be from all these topics. But if you are not studying and not working hard, you will not get any result. Okay. NPO is also coming, income and expenditure account and balance sheet, annual lease payment. This is an important topic for BCom honor student. Even it came in, I think one question, one question paper of past years of BCom program students as well. General entries on revaluation re account. This came uh, quite frequently in BCom honor students examination and depreciation and specifically in depreciation, they have to make provision for depreciation account. So BCom honor student cannot expect that they can get depreciation account only. They are always getting along with that the provision for depreciation account. Okay. 
now now we are going to discuss little bit of tactical point of view little bit from tactical point of view that what would be the strategy of the students according to their phase and according to their at which uh, phase of preparation they are so there are two types of students i generally consider and divide the students in two types first students are of those types who study some topics and second students are of those types who study nothing now the students who studied already some topics and they were studying uh, initially from the semester for them my first advice is that revise those topics which you had already studied first of all please make that strong then second make your theory strong second do all the theory and re first of all revise all the topics which you had studied already then make your theory strong which means keep studying theory as well or theoretical portion first of all actually secure your theoretical marks how much theoretical portion you will be getting within your exam you can secure that much marks within your hands and third focus on other topics which you don't study take a view of them a bit because whether if you are not touching branch accounting let's say and if you are not touching department accounting but you have to see them a bit by which even the question because branch accounting and departmental accounting accounting are definitely going to come within your exam but if you don't have any view and any idea about how to do the questions of branch accounting and departmental accounting then how can you attempt the, attempt those question so for even attempting those questions you need to have some view about those topics now let's straight away get to the second type of students which are the majority of students who are seeing the video and these students are who study nothing first of all for them complete their theory first strong your theoretical topics and even if you are unaware that what theoretical topics we have to do for securing our theory marks then you can watch my video which i uploaded previously on my youtube channel second start with these topics npo final accounts and depreciation why i wrote all these topics because you had studied all these topics in your class 11th and 12th and you had already a little bit view about those topics within your head and third then jump to the branch accounting and department accounting so this is all for this video maybe this video seems beneficial for you all see i am working a lot to helping all you students i am very thankful for you all that you are appreciating my efforts and best of luck for your exam of business law and along with that financial accounting as well thank you so much for watching bye bye Oh, 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 oh,